Hi, this is Ted Shu, your member of parliament for Kingston and the Islands. And this is The Local View with, with Ted Shu. Thanks for joining us this month on, on Kingston TV Kojiko. This is the show that brings a fresh perspective to your community and your federal government. Um, it is estimated that last year something like 23,800 women were diagnosed with uh, breast cancer, and that's about 65 uh, per day. And then there's also about an average of about 200 men a year who are diagnosed with, with breast cancer. A lot of resources are needed for uh, patients and their families to cope uh, with that. And to, with me today to talk about the local resources uh, that are available to help uh, people cope with uh, breast cancer and how to deal with breast cancer in the future through research are uh, Sue Davies, the president of Breast Cancer Action Kingston, and Dr. Sandip Sengupta, professor of uh, pathology and oncology at Queen's University. Thank you very much for uh, joining me today. Um, I wanted to just maybe start at the beginning and, and ask you, Sue, how did Breast Cancer Action Kingston start, and why did it start? It started in 1993. 1993, we had four women who were all survivors who met over coffee and looked at what resources were out there available for them. It's more than just information that you provide. You also sometimes provide some financial assistance uh, locally. Um, yes, we do have a direct client financial assistance program, uh, which will help uh, people when maybe the breadwinner is the person who's being diagnosed, mm -hmm. which means that their income is way down. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they don't even get EI to start with, mm -hmm. uh, so they may need help with even living expenses. Mm -hmm. um, prostheses, bras, wigs, this type of thing, mm -hmm. uh, medications, so things that aren't covered. Uh, and some people don't have a medical insurance plan either. Mm -hmm. But in some, ways, in some ways, uh, rather ordinary things. Uh. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But it's something that they need at that point to get mm -hmm. through this. So yes. Another physical activity is uh, chest mates, uh, which is a, it's a dragon boat uh, Oh, the team. dragon boat yeah. team, yes. Um, that's been going for quite a long time, I think 2002. Uh -huh. uh, we currently have about 35 members. Mm -hmm. um, so most of them are active paddlers, and uh, they practice down at Collins Bay. And in the, over the winter, they're exercising to keep, uh, keep their level up and their right. fitness up. How many, how many paid staff do you have uh, running breast uh, cancer? We just have Actually. one, basically. One. Oh. She's half part-time uh -huh. just running the office. So the there must be a lot of volunteer hours put in then. We're volunteer powered, uh -huh. volunteer right. driven, yeah. Uh -huh. The only other paid people are basically our exercise and yoga instructors, but okay. that's because we need those to run the program. Um, the walk is open to anybody. It's uh -huh. obviously mostly um, survivors and their families right. and relatives, friends. So we can have you know, anywhere from 200 to 500 people out. Wow. So, okay. um, yeah. And if you want to support uh, somebody in the walk or, or help out the Breast Cancer Action Kingston through the walk, what, what can you do? You can make a donation. You can mm -hmm. sponsor something that we have going on. You can pledge someone who's walking or running. Mm -hmm. So there are several ways that uh, people can help out. Okay. So, yeah. And I understand there's a, there's a website. Uh, it's bcakingston.org. Kingston there's something like, if, and correct me if I'm wrong, something like $300,000 has uh, been contributed to local research on breast cancer from the, from the WAC since yes, in the last I 20 believe, years. Yes, I believe that is uh, correct, yes, which okay. is quite a lot. And we also have a commitment of 75000 that we're doing through um, the University Hospitals Kingston Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, towards research and the breast assessment program is part of that too. So part of that is our walk money and the rest of it we're footing out of our money. So Dr. Sengupta is uh, uh, with me. Dr. Sengupta is a professor of uh, uh, oncology and pathology at Queen's University and he is the one who is uh, uh, doing the research that is uh, funded by Breast Cancer Action Kingston. So how do you go and uh, the, the money that uh, is raised uh, for research, some of it helps you buy equipment. Yes. Uh, how, what sort of equipment do you use and, and how do you find those little tiny molecules? Well, we uh, there are a number of uh, techniques to look at that. Uh, we're looking at both proteins in the cells and the genes. The, the genes are the ones that uh, drive the, uh, the production of the proteins and, but our primary interest so far has been to look at uh, proteins in the cells. And we do this by studies known as immunohistochemistry, immunofluorescence, and these are uh, techniques that can stain the proteins with different colors. Mm -hmm. And uh, the equipment that we've uh, uh, purchased with the help of funds from Breast Cancer Action Kingston have allowed us to uh, 
look at those proteins in the, under a microscope and quantitate them to, uh, is there a lot or a little, how much, and we can uh, statistically analyze that and see if there is any significance or not to mm -hmm. the uh, levels of proteins that we find in each individual cancer cell. What are some of the, the, the main impacts of having that local source of uh, funding? It's, it's, it would be equipment and... and uh... Yes, uh, without BCAK funding, we would not have been able to develop our large tissue microarray of the cohort of some 500 mm -hmm. women or so. So uh, we've been able to develop the entire cohort through that. Uh, of, we've been able to do some of the protein studies with it. We've been able to buy equipment that allows us to quantitate the, the, the signal, stain. Uh, we talked about the staining before. So that's sophisticated cameras, software, uh, computers that are required to analyze these kinds of results. And also, uh, BCAK funding, it supports the biostatistical analysis of our results to determine whether it's significant or not. Well, you know, the Kingston community is very fortunate to, uh, to have such a unique organization like Breast Cancer Action uh, Kingston with a really, as you say, you only have one half-time yeah. uh, paid employee, so you <laughs> have a really large group of uh, uh, mm -hmm. dedicated uh, volunteers to provide that support. Mm -hmm. and, and the education, and a lot of people who participate in the, in the fundraising to help out patients and their, and their families. So uh, I hope that people uh, watching will, will uh, go to the website, bcakingston.org, and find out about the, the walk, mm -hmm. uh, Walk for Awareness, to, to raise money for BCA uh, Kingston. It's the day before Mother's Day right. every year, and the golf tournament in, in, in August. August. Yeah. So, so go to that website, bca, uh, bcakingston.org. Uh, uh, and, uh, of course, there'll be reports in, in local media, and, and yeah. all the support that people can provide will be very much appreciated, I'm mm -hmm. sure. You've been watching The Local View with Ted Shu. Thank you for uh, joining me this month to uh, talk to uh, about uh, Breast Cancer Action Kingston. Uh, and join me next month, again, on The Local View on TV Kojiko.